Hey VCBs, it's Zung and welcome back to another episode of Cookbook Cook Along. This week I will be making a recipe from my girl Aisha Curry from her cookbook The Seasoned Life. We're gonna be making her apricot glazed salmon with summer squash and zucchini. Does that sound amazing or what? If you guys are fans of Aisha, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below for more healthy cookbook cook along videos. Hit that notification button if you wanna watch more honeysuckle videos or actually be alerted of new honeysuckle videos. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get started with the recipe. So in Aisha's head note, she said that this is my go-to recipe for salmon. It's one of those recipes that's easy to pull together, especially in the summer when zucchini and corn are everywhere, but it always surpasses expectations. So I looked at the ingredients in this recipe and I thought, zucchini and squashes are actually available at Costco all year round. It's one of those everyday vegetables that I try to think of new ways to use and I thought this was really perfect. On the channel, we don't often cook fish either, especially salmon, so this one is another plus. Cool. First step, she says, is to preheat the oven to 425 degrees and have a large Dutch oven or roasting pan handy. Check and check. I have two zucchinis and one yellow summer squash that I've already diced. And then she said to use one cup of super sweet corn kernels from one cob. So corn is no longer in season since it's no longer summer, even though it was just 90 degrees last week. But I always have frozen corn handy because I love frozen corn. It goes with so many things and this recipe is one of them. All right. So I have my large roasting pan, and then she says to put the zucchini, summer squash, and corn in the pan and coat with olive oil and a pinch of salt and pepper. Easy. And then for the sauce, she says to stir together a quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce, two heaping tablespoons of apricot preserves. I went with the reduced sugar one just because I don't want my salmon to be super sweet three cloves of minced garlic and mix them together. So sometimes the apricot jam is a little thick, kind of like this one, they just have a lot of pectin in it. So you might have to mash it down a little bit to get it to meld evenly with the soy sauce. Or another alternative is just nuke it for like 30 seconds to soften it up. Okay, our sauce is done, so now we're gonna move on to the salmon. Place the salmon filet in the Dutch oven, nestling it into the veggies. So here I have a salmon filet that's about 12 ounces. If I were to do this recipe, I probably would put the salmon filet in first and then put the veggies on, but this works. We'll see how it comes out. I'm sure delicious. All right, it actually fit nice and snugly. And then now we're gonna pour the apricot sauce over the top. It looks so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of teriyaki salmon a little bit. But now we're gonna bake it until the veggies are cooked and the salmon flakes easily when pierced with a fork for about 15 minutes. So last time I did a cookbook cook along, it was Chrissy Teigen's Thai fried ribs and oh man, it was delicious. So I'm really excited to continue on with this cookbook cook along series. Um, and Aisha naturally was my second choice because number one, she's in the Bay Area and that's where I'm from. And number two, I just fell in love with her on the Food Network. Obviously I had heard about her as being the wife of Steph Curry, but I just fell in love with her presence, her charm, her enthusiasm for food on the Food Network show when she had one. Her food looks just so good and I love that she's a mom of two. Um, and so I just really related to her. Now another Food Network star that I really, really like is Molly Ye and I've been watching her as well, but I'd love to hear who you guys love watching. Oh, actually, Giada and Ina Garten are my other two favorites. Of course, I have to do one from Giada. 
You guys, but be sure to tell me in the comment section below whose cookbook you want to see next. And so the idea of this cookbook cook along series is to choose a healthy recipe that we all have access to and to cook together, really. And if you guys do end up making the recipe, be sure to tag them, in this case, Aisha, and me on Instagram at honeysucklebees. I think our salmon's just about ready. Let's go ahead and pull it out. This smells so good, and it looks almost exactly like her photo. Yay! I cannot wait to dig in. I love how bubbly it is and hot. The zucchinis have cooked up nicely. It's not as roasty as her photo is, but that's probably just because I cut them a little larger, which is totally fine. Uh, but let's, let's dig into the salmon. Definitely has like teriyaki vibes here, missing the ginger, but you get the sweetness from the apricot preserves and then it's like salty from the soy sauce and the garlic really shines through as well. I wanna try a piece of the corn because I love corn. The corn really soaked in all of the flavors and it's super delicious. Now this meal came together in, I would say less than 30 minutes. And as Aisha says right here, it serves two grown-ups and one child. Perfect for me, Nate, and Erisi. I know she's gonna love this because she loves salmon. I hope you guys like this recipe. If you guys have watched this far, be sure to comment with the secret emoji, which will be a cucumber, AKA squash. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi, I'm Aisha Curry, wife, mom, and super foodie. I love you. <laughs> All right. Okay.